Hey there YouTube, this is Brian with the Midwestern Wet Shavers. Again, you've joined me once more in the shaving dungeon. I called it my shaving dungeon in the last video, and now you can actually see why, because I have quite the contraption going on here with my phone as my recording device. I have a 2x4, a piece of 2x4 with some string hanging down from a, from a um, pipe in my dungeon bathroom. Um, so you have a better angle this time. That was a big problem with the last one. And it is a dungeon because it's a red cinder block room with a candelabra. How fun is that? Do you have one in your bathroom? I don't think you do, but if you don't, I don't recommend it at all. Don't recommend it at all. It's terrible for lighting. I actually have a big craftsman flashlight uh, up in the corner over there. So today I received as part of my Midwestern Wet Shavers group, the group soap that we have, the, can we get that in focus? There we go. A Midwest morning hunt. Um, I don't remember exactly what the scent profile is supposed to be, but it kind of smells like my wood pile has a bunch of flowers growing in it. The soap was made by Uncle John Soaps and we can't thank him enough for it. My wife loves the scent of it. I think it's okay myself, but you know, I'm, I'll wear it for her. I'll never have a problem doing something like that. So we're going to use this. It's going to be a face lather today with my Mula Synthetic Nut 21 millimeter. Super soft. I fell in love with this brush in the last video that I did. I'm going to kind of redo a little bit of the points on that in case you haven't seen it. But if you haven't seen it, you probably should scroll down in the video feed a little bit and look at that. Not my finest work I've ever done, but it is what it is. Also using my Gillette Heritage Razor Blade to the razor today with a Rapira Super or a Swedish Super Steel. Rather, I'm getting all kinds of screwed up. I had a really rough day at work today. I'm just going to put some water on top of this puck. It is a four ounce tub of soap you get. Um, if you are part of the group, if you're not part of the group, I suggest you join it. Um, you can find us on Facebook at the Midwestern Wet Shavers. Also came with the matching aftershave. We're going to try both of these out. I have never once used a Uncle John's soap. I don't know what it's going to do to my face. I have really sensitive skin. I don't know how slick it's going to be. I know nothing about his products. Not to say that they're bad, good, indifferent, because I don't know. This is my first attempt. But we're going to find out. Let's get that drained off of there. Hopefully everyone is still doing okay with this pandemic going on. Life still chugs on as it always does. All right. Gonna work this up. The one thing I do notice is it doesn't fit exactly right in the tub, so it moves around a little bit, which to me is, you know, is what it is. It's not the only soap I've ever owned to do it. Some people might find that slightly off-putting. Some people might like that. Some people don't care one way or another because it's soap. Of course, if you haven't watched my previous, and look at the look at the load we're already getting off of this tub. This synthetic brush, I still can't say enough really good things about it. Um, if you have the money to buy it, it, you can find it on Amazon or get it directly from Mula. Get the excess off of there. It does cream up really well, I have to tell you that. Put it over there on the chair that I have to use to hold all my stuff. Because what would a wet shave be without 4,000 accessories, right? Okay. It lathers really, really well, actually. 
It's a really good lathering soap. I'm getting a lot of sense of, you know, I don't have exactly the best sense of smell in the world, um, mostly due to some truly bad decisions in my younger years. <laughs> um, definitely would, um, maybe kind of like an oak, maybe. So it, it literally smells like my wood pile out back grew a bunch of lavender in it. And it's, it's actually a pretty good scent. It's on your face. It's probably about, I'd say a seven out of 10 scent strength. I have roughly four days of growth going on. And this Gillette Heritage razor is so mild and yet somehow still so efficient. And this lighting, it keeps screwing up. I'm looking at this now. I stand over here. I don't know what to do it. Apologize for the lack of professionalism here, but I am not a professional. I'm just some dude shaving in a bathroom with really bad lighting. That first pass is done. Not bad on on residual slickness. It's not bad at all. I'd give I'd give the slickness on this soap probably an eight, maybe eight and a half out of ten. It's pretty darn good, pretty darn slick. And this brush, I have I have literally not used any either rather of my other two brushes that I have laying around ever since I got this Mula synthetic. It has been worth every last penny that I spent on it. It does come with a hefty price tag. It is $70. Now, for a synthetic brush, especially a 21 millimeter, that may seem absolutely outrageous, and I don't blame you for thinking that. It was a point in time where I thought that was outrageous. Oh my god, this lighting. This is going to look so terrible once it gets uploaded. I will say this has nothing to do with the product or anything else. This has mostly to do with me. Let's see if that helps. My face is starting to burn a bit. Just a little bit. But that's not overly surprising for me because there, there are just certain 
sense that my face can't do. Now I'm not saying this isn't one of them. It's not like it's on, it's not like somebody turned the stove on my face yet. All right, now we're gonna go for pass three. This lighting is killing me right now. Can't stand this. It's really kind of pissing me off. This soap does go on very nicely. We do that. Seems to have brightened it up for in a second. No, nope. none of this is working out very well. All right. Oh, there it went. <laughs> All right, that'll just about do it. And there we go. I haven't taken the time yet to thank the creator of Uncle John's Soaps, who I imagine his name is John. I know, that's probably a revelation to just about anybody right there. But anywho, I'd like to take a moment to thank him for making this soap for our group. Um, you know, that was definitely a big help for him to step up. We were looking for somebody to make a group soap. It was a thought that our creator, Luis, had. Um, and, you know, it, he stepped up. He was the guy to do it. And I would like to personally thank him for taking his time to make this. I was not paid to buy this soap. I was not given this soap. I bought it with my own money. Now the aftershave. The aftershave is very woody. Oh my goodness, that's woody. That is wood. That's like... I get like sawdust and honey out of that. But it is very nice. It comes in a very nifty bottle which I showed earlier. There it is. This damn lighting. Well, I'm not going to waste much more of your guys' time. I'm just going to give a quick afterthought for everything. Um, as far as how good I think this soap is, I would say it's still not as good as my Murphy McNeil. I love my Murphy McNeil. That's just the soap that gets along with me best. Um, but... I will say this is probably the second best soap I've ever used. It is actually very good. It's very slick. It smells good. It's not an overpowering scent, but it it's enough that you feel like, you know, somebody's definitely going to notice. My face doesn't feel dried out. It's still a little burny. Uh, it may turn a little red later, but that's more on me because of my sensitive skin than the product. Um, 
other notes. Um, the the one thing I will say I that I you know don't necessarily like, but it's not a huge turnoff, would be that the soap didn't fit all the way in the pot or in the container. That is what it is. I'm sure it'll mold down eventually. As usual, I love my Gillette Heritage razor. It's great. It's mild. It's efficient. It's wonderful. And of course, the best thing that ever happened to me in wet shaving is this Mula brush. Overall, I'd say this shave was a pretty darn good one. Three passes did get me BBS. It's right there. It's good. Soap, overall, I'm going to give it a eight and a half out of 10, just because I think it could have been a little slicker. Um, it's given me a little irritation. It's get, It didn't perfectly fit in the container. All these things are trivial. And if you don't care about any of those things, the slickness is more or less what, if it had been just a little bit slicker, I'd have probably ranked it right there with my Murphy and McNeil at a, at a perfect score. Um, the scent profile is great. I do love it. Yeah, it, it has grown on me, even though I don't think I'll be able to wear it all the time just because I, th I, but we'll see. I'll give an update on that later. Anyway, I've wasted enough of your time. I'm done rambling and I'm already at 1636. So I hope that all of you have a wonderful day and you stay safe out there. Check, please like, comment, subscribe, check us out on Facebook, Midwestern Wet Shavers, and I hope you all have a great day.